Hey guys, it's Teresa. <laughs> so I'm back again with another voiceover video, and you're probably really tired of this style of video, but um, because I've been so busy, it's kind of hard to do, you know, a full face video. But don't worry, it's coming up, and you know, it's 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 gonna happen. So these are the colors I chose out, and um, this video is basically going to be showing you the process that I went through doing my nails in Korea. Um, I was told it's super expensive, but actually just doing the polish wasn't too expensive at all. It was basically the same amount of money that I would have spent in New York as well to get a manicure and a pedicure. Um, I mean, places like Florida and Jamaica, you can get it a lot cheaper, but I mean, it wasn't an arm and a leg. I'll put the exact details in the blog post for this video um, so if you're wondering exactly how much I paid or how much I would have had to pay for other services as well I'll put their information in the description the place that I went to as you saw in the beginning of the video is called the most nail it's located in a very uptown area that kind of like the Upper East Side in New York in Korea called Kongdok um, it's very central you know um, in Mapoku. So if you're curious, um, you can go and check it out. But there are lots and lots of nail places all over in Korea, just like anywhere else, any other city. <laughs> to go here, you have to make a reservation at the day before. Um, I didn't know that originally. I'm kind of used to just doing walk-ins. So make sure you do a reservation. You can go in to make the reservation or you can do a phone call. Of course, for foreigners, just walking in is usually you know, less intimidating. Um, the people were very nice and they talked to me, although I kind of am used to a little bit more talking, so... Um, but it was comfortable and they were all smiles. Um, it didn't hurt at all and I had like really frail nails too, so I was kind of worried that they would um, hurt me, but it was very soft. I didn't bleed at all. Um, so if you're worried about that, they're very talented at what they do, so you don't have to worry about that at all. When you come in, you also have to make sure that you're wearing shoes, like open toe shoes, because they don't give you your own sandals. Like some places, they give you those sandals to walk around in until you dry your feet, but they um, they recommend that you just come in with open toe shoes already. Um, they told me that the day before when I made my reservation, so make sure you go ahead and do that. As you can see, I decided to go with very plain colors on my fingernails, mostly because Korea is like this place that has so many nail decorations and those kind of things for really cheap, you know, like even a dollar. And if you just put the white coat on top of it, your nails can be really pretty. I don't think it makes sense to waste money on doing nail art in the stores because it can get quite expensive depending on how many nails you want to do and it just doesn't make sense because like I said it's available very inexpensively all over the country you can just do it yourself plus when you do it yourself it's more creative and fun right so yeah give it a try Okay, so that basically sums up my experience doing my nails in Korea the first week. Um, if you were interested in this video and you, you know, had fun, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be making lots more experience videos in Korea and in Japan, as well as language videos and, you know, all that culture stuff. Um, check my second channel out as well. I'm going to be putting out a whole bunch of art videos soon enough. I also make videos on this channel every Wednesday and Friday as well as Sunday videos on my second channel. So yeah, if you want to see more, please do come back next week. Alright fam, bye!